The first documented case of the Curse of Crystal Cove is from 1630, when a garrison of Spanish conquistadors mysteriously vanished from the harbor. Oh, that is so scary. Where did they go? What part of the word mystery didn't you understand? There's a book over here. Daphne read a book once. And this chair. Daphne liked to sit in chairs. That card catalog over there. Not helping, Fred. Can we help you with anything? No, go away. Who's the patient? An employee at Destroido. Go away. Like, what happened to him? It's classified. Go away. Your essay was inspiring. Like, having dinner with, like, Vincent Van Gogh at his house would be, like, the most coolest thing in, like, the whole, like, history of cool things. Like, rarely have words stirred me to such emotion. But you've got a job as a teacher. Why do you need more money? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. 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 Daphne, now I need to talk to her. Daphne's gone. Call me Crush. Darn it, lady, I'm serious. Where is she? Guys, guys, you see that? He's growling at me, actually growling. I will have red hair, and brown hair, and black hair, and yellow hair, and... I just want shaggy hair. I'm sure they have shaggy hair. Shaggy? Shaggy hair for shaggy. Aren't you gonna tell us a story? Yes, the end. Now, shh. Arrest them, even though I have absolutely no jurisdiction here! I am Night Fright! Scream! Scream! Time to... Go left! Left? Right! Right? right? You said go left! I said right! Go left! Right? Right! No! Left! Go left! Fred, 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 if you weren't my boss's son, I would not hesitate to make you disappear forever. I believe you. Oh, how frightening. Oh, absolutely blood-curdling. Not really. Ew, it smells like that stuff you put on plants to help them grow. You mean poo? Yeah, that's what it smells like. <laughs> Oh, it's on me. Get it off. Get it off. Get it off. Get it off. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Calm oh. down. It's just a bug. Ah! Help. Help. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Ick. Chocolate? What kind? I mean, what's the mm -hmm. cocoa ratio? 60%, 70%? How pure is it? Never mind, I don't want any. Let me talk to him. Don't worry. Fred will make him understand. Shaggy, start the car. Who the heck can that be? No such sights, weirdo. Hey out there, mystery lovers. Velma here. No mysteries to report, just another Friday night. I'm by myself, as usual. And you know what? That's okay. What's so bad about sitting in your room alone on a Friday night? Zoinks! Like it looks like the article comes with the soundtrack. It's not working! Like, where does she keep getting these weapons? That outfit has no pockets! Oh, here I am again, the only one really working. You always were the most determined of your little group. Were you just waiting there? Of course. They bite me! I bite him back. Ooh. Ow, 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 ow. Freddy, did you notice my outfit? <laughs> I don't even understand that question. Fat, insecure know-it-all. Who's that? Oh, come on. I wouldn't exactly describe myself as big or fat or insecure. Am I? Why aren't you too supportively agreeing with me? What? Uh -huh. Oh, uh, sorry. You're awesome. What's that? No, don't! Don't! <clears throat> Traps Illustrated? Freddy! What does it say? Keep? What the heck's that mean? I meant to type help. I'm no good with these newfangled gadgets. Y'all be safe. Don't tell me what to do! Velma, do you believe in love at first sight? In your case? 
No. Wow, I haven't seen... Look away, Daphne. We all promised each other that we would never speak of him. Not ever. Do you not want to go to the prom with me? If you don't want to go, just tell me. I'll understand. Oh, <laughs> what a relief. Because I don't... What? Why? I don't believe this. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Velma, stop breaking the cemetery. Oh, thanks for the tip, Mushmouth. <laughs> Enough, you two. We've been waiting over two hours. I'm starving. I know. I can hear your tummy gurgling. For a second, I thought alien larva might have hatched in your belly. <laughs> I've tentatively called my novel The Disinternment of Groth Van Anyaroth. Yo, yo, yo. What do you think? Too urban? Oh, boy. Scooby, Velma, put Shaggy on. Because you're almost impossible to understand on a phone. I remember what it was like to feel love for somebody. It was like some Amazonian river fish had laid eggs in my chest, and they all started to hatch at once. That's disgusting. Stop it, Shaggy. I'm not stupid. Are you cheating on me? So judge that, you losers. Booyah! <coughs> Who wants to judge me now, huh? Who? You want to judge me? You? In your face. Yeah! Wilma, you're scaring me. Lucy people. Occupado. Nobody's in here. Here, pick out a new pair of pants. What's wrong with my pants? You promised me you were going to start caring more about your appearance. But I like these pants. You've worn them since the eighth grade. They're comfortable pants. You're making a big mistake, Fred. Big mistakes is what I do. We brought ointment. She <gasps> hates ointment! The aliens need my brain! They're gonna steal my brain! Must not be very complicated plans. Then one day I thought my science teacher was a bugbear. And I smote him with a magic missile. I smite thee with magic missile. I magic missile, magic missile, take magic missile, magic missile, roll a crit. Yes, double damage. <laughs> Velma, what would you do if you thought, well, uh, you might be in love? Try to snap out of it and dump the slacker before he had a chance to break my heart and crush what few dreams I had left. Okay. Well, here we are. I guess we should get out. Or not. It's a pretty good view from here. <laughs>